Hi, my name is Hannah Johnson. I'm from Lincoln Southeast. And this, <laughs> and this is called When It's Real. Imagine, it's 7.45 a.m. and you're standing on the field running the show. The color guard counts loud and the band kids can't count loud enough. After the sixth full run through, it's clear the directors are trying to add weights to the bags that already hang from our sleepless eyes. My section stands to the right of me and the drum majors stand tall in front. We let out a groan when they blast reset over the loudspeaker, seventh full run through. In the middle of it all, two fire trucks come racing down the street, past the field, and into the school parking lot. It takes me a moment to realize that's our school parking lot. I yell out focus in a voice that is much more confident than mine. We have a competition in two days, yet I can't seem to find a distraction from the knot that sits in my stomach. The band comes to a collective halt and nobody makes a noise. Eyes start to turn to the loud red and blue lights. Three ambulances aren't short behind and an emergency response vehicle trails in last, a smaller sibling. Would you call that scary? Because I would call it a Thursday. The music, conversation, and traffic now all stand still. Like if we moved, we'd be pulling triggers of our own. My attention now fully lies on the measure of worry and is outnumbering the measure of music. My teachers, friends, and classmates are trapped in a building where I have no way of knowing what's going on, and I find myself expecting the worst. It's been on the news for weeks. It's getting harder and harder to get away from that word, shooting, that I finally resorted to the thought, now it is our turn. Why should anyone settle on the fact that this could happen to them? Why do I find myself preparing for the end of the world, not knowing if it'll come when I am ready? Why do I find myself responsible to march for our lives, not knowing if I'll march the next day? Why do people hear the words gun ban when I say the words gun control? My neighbor with a MAGA hat knows a weapon better than he knows his own children. Even if it saved one of us, just one, would it be worth it? Would you give up a few hours on the range if it meant the Sandy Hook parents got to give their children a thousand more hugs? What about the shooting trip to Colorado if it meant that Parkland students got to remember red for Valentine's Day and love instead of the time they had to step over their classmates' bodies? You don't know what that feels like until you know what that feels like. And right now, I feel selfish for wanting the one thing that should be rightfully guaranteed, my safety. That's all it is, right? A headline for a day, we stand, we scream, we throw popcorn at the screen and we cry. But can anyone tell me why we keep sitting back down in our seats waiting for the credits to roll with body counts and names instead of walking out of the theater? There was an accident at the school that morning. But that's all it was, an accident. They won't all be accidents though, now will they? 200 hearts froze, too afraid to let out a beat. 200 stomachs sank one by one in slow motion. Nobody speaks, nobody moves, and I take it as a sign to wait for next time, when it's real. <laughs>